Good morning, everyone. It is now Saturday, and I'm sorry if you can hear, like, the whirring of my fan, but it is a hot Saturday, so I have the fan going on in the kitchen here, um, as well as a fan in my room. And because I can't really make iced coffee here, well, I could, but, you know, it would take forever for the coffee to freeze, I'm actually going to go to Starbucks this morning or maybe a different cafe, I'm not sure yet, and pick up a nice coffee and do some work at a coffee shop. So that should be nice, but before I go off and do that, I'm going to eat my breakfast. I made overnight oats um, from a Live B recipe. It's like chia seeds, maple syrup, cashew milk, oats, uh, cinnamon, and then of course I put some frozen blueberries on top. So that'll be nice to have a good cold meal. Hopefully it tastes good. I've never tried it, so we'll see how it is. And while I eat breakfast, I'm going to go over some emails and then you are gonna come with me for my walk. So yes, happy Saturday. Um, I got a really good sleep last night, but my head still kind of hurts because I have allergies, so my head's all stuffed up, which makes me feel a little tired, and also this heat makes me just want to sleep all day, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to have another good, productive day, and I'm taking you along with me, so let's, let's start this Saturday. <laughs> I just got home from walking back from the coffee shop and now I am going to order some lunch and then either walk or take the bus there. And thankfully the place that I'm ordering lunch from is right across from the library and they have a pickup service. So I'm going to try and get Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets because I just finished listening to Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone on audiobook. So now I need to read Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Um, I'm rereading the series again for like the ninth time. It's ridiculous, I know, you don't have to tell me. Um, I love this series, so I'm going to pick up Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and yeah, that's the plan. Okay, so I just called the library, and apparently they don't do same day pickup, which is a little bit disappointing, but okay. Um, so I'm actually just going to pick that up at some point. <laughs> they were like, we won't have an exact day. We'll just call you when it's in. So I guess I'll get a call hopefully sometime next week. Um, really hopefully Monday, but we'll see. But either way, I can still order my lunch. So I am going to order myself a sweet potato burrito, uh, which I am very excited for because it is 12-12 um, and I usually eat around like 1.15 to 2, so that will give ample time for me to get the food and also for it to, you know, be made. And yeah, that's the plan. So we're still going into town, excitingly enough. Um, but yeah, sadly, I can't get my book. I do have like the series actually in softcover, hardcover, and like the, the picture books that are out so far of the Harry Potter series at home, but I didn't really want to bring any books with me because I tried not to pack too much with me. Um, so yeah, but I'm kind of wishing I had the Harry Potter book right now, that's for sure. Uh, oh well, maybe I can find like an illegal audiobook somewhere. We'll see. I found an audiobook online. Woo! I was going to get a sweet potato burrito, but I decided to go for a simple black bean burrito 
because you know what? Sometimes simplicity is just all you need. It's just the best. So now I get to head out and go to uh, the place to pick it up. Um, I think I'm gonna walk there, which is about a 30 minute walk, which is kind of perfect um, because it's going to be ready in 30 minutes and then I'll take the bus back. So good. And I have chips and salsa. I am back in my room and I'm going to read The Winter's Tale and try to finish it up. I have just finished reading The Winter's Tale, woohoo! And now I'm going to purchase some laptop stickers from Redbubble um, because I've been looking at them for over a week, but I just didn't have my address for my new place, so I didn't want to buy them and have to have them sent to my house and then have my parents have to send them to me. So hopefully um, my address works and they get here, but I want to show you what I picked out. So I picked out 10 stickers because the price drops if you buy more than 10 or 10 or more. So here is what I've got for my 10 stickers. I wanted to make them all really represent me. Um, and I have a notebook with like random laptop stickers from different like locations, but I wanted my laptop stickers, um, to really represent like me as a person and not just be from like random restaurants. So the first one I have is actually already on my laptop and it's this one right here that kind of just has like a cabin vibe. And then let's go through the ones I'm gonna buy from Redbubble. So I've got this one that says mental health matters. One of my majors is psychology and the other one is music theater so you'll see quite a few of those i have this one which is flowers growing out of a book i love to read and i just thought it was really pretty i love piano so i had to get a piano edge sticker i love cats so this is a great pack of cat stickers i really love this coffee shop sticker obviously i love coffee and shops and plants and it just kind of has all of that um, this sticker that says every piece of plastic ever made still exists today. Uh, there is no planet B sticker. Be kind, a very important reminder. Um, a pack of stickers of The Office, my favorite TV show. And finally a sticker that says if it's not your prop, don't touch it. Holly Gabrielle just uploaded a new video, so of course I've got to watch it because She's just a brilliant YouTuber and I love everything she does. So that's what's going on now. Okay, so now I'm going to make some dinner. I had planned to have a hamburger and roasted veggies as my dinner, but what I was actually craving was some toast with butter, um, some carrots and an apple. So that's what I'm having instead because that's what my body wants. Um, and then change of plans, my friend Brianna is actually going to come over here, which will be a really good time. And yes, yeah, so that should be fun. And then, oh, huh, workout update. So you probably remember I was doing the Chloe Ting challenge and I had two days left. Well, listen here, folks, I'm not gonna finish the challenge. You might be like, wow, the last time we checked in, it was not close to lunchtime. That would be true or not close to dinner time, that would in fact be true. I'm gonna keep talking to you while I make my toast. Um, but yes, last time I talked to you, I think it was like 1.30 or two, and now it's dinner time. I literally, like, I didn't really have anything specific on my list of things to do. I wanted to finish 
The Winter's Tale, which I finished, and I wanted to do a lingo, which I did, but I didn't really have anything else on the docket of things to do, especially because, like, it's kind of the end of the week, and on weekends I like to chill out more anyway. So I didn't really have anything on my list, so I just actually let myself chill, and I watched some YouTube videos, I watched some piano videos, because I wish I could practice piano right now, but I can't, because all the buildings are still locked, so the practice rooms are locked, which is so sad. So I listen to the song that I'm working on playing like three, four times <laughs> and wishing I could be practicing it um, instead of actually getting to practice it because there's no piano that I can access right now. So that was kind of a bummer, but I watched some YouTube videos and stuff like that and I'm really happy that my friend is coming over soon because I need some social interaction. So like I mentioned, this is the dinner I went with. Might seem like a strange or boring combination, but bread and carrots and apples are some of my favorite foods. So that's what I'm having. Um, I was gonna eat these carrots regardless. They were on my kind of like weekly meal plan that I made. I was going to have a burger instead of bread and apple, but a Beyond Burger that is. But I just decided that I wasn't in the mood for something super heavy because I had a burrito for lunch and that was pretty filling and hefty. So I went for something a little lighter and I am very excited to eat this. It's going to be absolutely delicious.